Hello friends, today I am going to uh, show you how to prepare SQL reports with HTML layout. Okay, here I have already done one kind of video here like uh, which is like stored project to convert SQL query result in HTML table format. However, like uh, some of the users are facing some issue, they are throwing big error. Okay, so as of now, we don't have a data set to reproduce the issue. So that's why we came to another uh, uh, like way instead of stored procedure, we now we can manually create it. Okay, so that so you can go through this video as well. Meanwhile, okay, and meanwhile, you go on, you can open the Google and type HTML color picker uh, for your uh, uh, identify that color, everything. If see see whatever color you see here you just uh, move, slide the color as per your requirement and see the color okay this color is good or you can uh, still you want to do some betterment you can do that like this you want you, if you want you can change finally you can copy the color so here in the in this code we have three steps one is like here uh, like uh, this is the first part this is the second part and this is the third part okay in the first part what we are doing we are removing uh, we are uh, we are uh, this is the header format okay if, for example if uh, what are the color layout you want you can change the color here i am pasting here okay that's it so you, the, you can change the database health status and like uh, this is the table border okay this is the like table header details and everything okay now <clears throat> now you can see now what I want like here name state description compatibility level okay so right now I need all these details okay so right now so here with name name you want for the table header color we, uh, this is the border size this is the width size and this should be 25 high to font color whatever you can customize accordingly okay now right now select here you need just place name compatibility level state description you can call add the columns as per your wish okay right now here we need to change the profile name what you have used in your sql server and which email ID that you want to forward the reports i am in the real time mostly it would be the sql server ddl and html body type and this is the subject what you want to set okay this is done now click execute that is done okay now go to the um, your gmail See, I got this report. Database health report, database size health. Okay, master all these compared. Okay, now you can. I, I will show you here 50. Let's see how it comes. I am showing how you can do experiment. Okay, now go to the SQL server. Sorry, email. Refresh it. Yeah, it is done. See, this is how it comes. So. It's all up to you. If you want to add any column, you can add here. Okay, no problem. You just copy that line and paste it here and replace the table name or whatever it could be. And meanwhile, you have to add this line as well. I mean, you need to be there, font size. Otherwise, for example, what I will do here is name, compatibility level, uh, compatibility level, sorry, compatibility level, database id okay so now i want to database id as well here what i want to do here database id but i am not giving any uh, like how were the table color everything see how it comes see see there is no header proper header to avoid this what i need to do here is like uh, after compatibility level database id right you just copy this line and paste it here and done done now you can click execute now refresh it once yeah done See, you got 
for a compatibility size it is very right now you can decrease the size as well so now compatibility size 50 is there right so i will give 25 so like this you can change the height pole color whatever requirement for html color i already show you right you just click execute oh sorry yeah done now refresh it once Yeah, it is done. So now it's uh, meaningful, right? Now you can decrease the two for name also. This is also 25. Let's see how it comes. So now, so like this, you have to do uh, like require uh, you have to customize the reports and what the layout how the border could be so like that you have to prepare and uh, finally once it is done in the uh, showing properly in the test environment later on you can deploy the same into the production i hope uh, you like uh, this video why okay we uh, we are like putting so many efforts so that uh, if your feedback or your encouragement is uh, much needed for us to do more videos like this. Thank you. Bye.